Hello and welcome to this new video. Last week, I have spoken about what is important for your start drawing realistic animal portraits with pastels. And today I will answer a question you always ask how to sharpen your pastel pencils. First, if you are thinking that you are not good enough to draw realistic animal portraits, if you have the wish but you doubt yourself if you can do that or that only other, can, other people can draw and you are not talented enough, I can say the opposite is true. Drawing realistic animal portraits is a skill you can learn. I show you here some of my students of past classes and workshops and what they tell about my classes. Watch these and make your own picture and afterwards I show you uh, how you can sharpen your pastel pencils in the best way. Oh, it's, it's literally changed my life, Sabine. It really has. Um, to, you know, I'm, I'm now doing something I've long to do for so long and to actually be able to do it and yeah I'm just totally hooked it's just yeah I love it and I love the uh, pastel pencils you know as a medium they're, they're just wonderful to use the colors are so vibrant and I just love it I really do I can't stop now <laughs> so good. I'm totally hooked. it's like therapy as well it's just oh it's just lovely it really is great the algorithms must have changed on my Facebook feed for you to come up um so what I found about art was, and the counsellor said as well, it, it was, it's very calming. Mm -hmm. So I find that when I start drawing and growing up, I wasn't an artist at all. I was all science. So mm -hmm. for me to sit and draw, I would have to say, you, you don't have to be an artist. Um, your videos were so easy to follow and it's actually very, very soothing and calming to sit there and colour in. Um, so what I got most out of it, I found that I found some joy in something again because I could sit down for a couple of hours and just follow the videos and draw and I could create something and I have this beautiful picture at the end of it and I was very amazed with the results I was getting. Wow, thank you for sharing all these insights. You're very, very clear in your lessons. Um, a big getaway that I took from the course was layering. I think uh, in my portraits in the past, I never did as much layering as you encouraged us to do. Made the world of difference. I found that the fur that I drew was richer. It was more realistic looking and... Um, uh, it's so much more lifelike now when I was able to do that layering. Um, as I was mentioning, I finally was able to retire and get back into art, which has always been one of my loves. And I stumbled across your class on, on Facebook. And I'm, I'm just thrilled with the, the progress I've made. It's just wonderful. Being able to learn this new medium that works fantastic for animal drawing, I was very excited to do that. So yeah, it's definitely now one of the things I'm going to pursue. I mean, uh, once I get a little better, I'm going to let all my friends know I'm open to um, to doing animal portraits for them if they like. I, it didn't feel like it was in a vacuum because we had the group to post our results and because you, every time we posted something, you would go in and give us feedback on it. So I could see your feedback on my work and then I could also see your feedback on other people's work. So that sense of community is one of the things that I, as an online art student, I found missing in many classes, but I found it very, very, um, it was great in your class. It's, it's nice to be with other artists. Um, you just, you get a sense of community, you get um, tips and tricks, you learn things. I would never have really known how to approach doing an animal. In this short video, I give you some tips on sharpening pastel pencils. Unfortunately, pastel pencils break very easily. Often I had to be very angry about it and I have tried a few things. I have found for me that these simple double metallic sharpeners work best. 
Here you can see this double metal sharpener. They work very well and are quite cheap, but you need a few. Even they get dull after a while and it creates waste, which is not so great for the environment. I put the pencil in there and cut off the wood. And that works very well. I also remove and cut off a little bit of the pastel pigment and then I get the very sharp point. So that works a while. If you only need a pointed tip and want to save pencil so that the pencil is not so quickly short and used up, I can recommend sandpaper. You can simply re remove some of the pastel pigment from the tip and get a pointed tip for fine details. So you remove the pigment, scratch over the sandpaper and sharpen your tip of the pencil. You have a sharp point and can draw then details. So a sandpaper to refine the tip is very useful. You can also use a knife or a cutter to cut away the wood. This is also a common method. You cut away the wood so your sharpeners don't become blunt so quickly and you don't have to throw away so many. Then you can sharpen the tip with the blade of the knife or refine it with sandpaper. This is also a wonderful way to sharpen pencils. You just scrape off the pigment until the tip fits. This works really well. And then you use sandpaper to make them really sharp. This method is very economical. You just need a sharp knife and sandpaper, both of which you can get at the hardware store. Otherwise, I use these metal sharpeners. If I only need a sharp tip quickly, for example for fine hair, then I just scrape off the tip at the front. I don't put the pencil all the way in, just the front, then I can scrape off some of the pigment and get a sharp tip, which I need for fur, for example. So those are the methods that work best for me. There are of course many electric sharpeners and hand crank sharpeners available for purchase. However, these also get dull and blunt very quickly and cost a bit more. Just try it out for yourself and see what works best for you. So I hope these tips are helpful for you and you can sharpen your pastel pencils better and create a sharp point. I also invite you to join my free three days drawing workshop. We will draw a beautiful tiger eye and also golden retriever fur and zebra fur. I invite you to join if you would like to start drawing realistic animal portraits or also refine your drawing skills just improve. If you are a beginner or advanced, then please join. You can find the link in the description and then I see you in the next video. Have a great time. Bye.